Hello, it's Mad Science Channel, and today we will find out what will happen if the Neil Crocodile sees a scorpion. Interesting. Let's go then. The video is documentary one and does not call for violence. The video demonstrates the features of keeping and feeding young Neil Crocodile at home. We ask you not to repeat what you see. It may be dangerous. As you probably remember, about a month ago we got a real Neil crocodile. So far this is only a cup, but it should still be handled with extreme caution. As far as possible we want to provide him with the best living conditions, although it involves a number of difficulties. Indeed, it is one thing to read the theory about keeping of the Neil crocodile at home. Another thing is to really take care of it. As part of improving the living conditions, we have slightly our aqua terrarium. We put a water filter and created an artificial stream, so the warm water will be evenly distributed over its area. The crocodile has already returned to its new home and most likely managed to get hungry. To begin with, we will offer him a cockroach. Notice how the potential victim, without any fear, climbed onto the back of the predator. The latter is not happy with such situation. Crocodile decides to escape from the cocky cockroach. Where? The most logical option. In the water. But just cockroach approached the water, and after a moment he was already in the teeth of the predator. Crocodiles are very voracious, even young ones, so we will feed him more. Notice how the cockroach headed over the rocks under the water. The hunter patiently waits until the victim emerges on the surface to grab him immediately. And here the crocodile carefully considers the logo of our channel. Probably he would not mind to subscribe to it too. Now, when the hero of today's release is full enough, let's go to the culmination point. It's time to introduce him to another predator. A scorpion. Of course, adult representatives of this species are in completely different weight categories and are unlikely to either compete with each other for the territory. But our crocodile is still quite small. Consequently, anything can happen. Let's keep watching for a while. It seems that the crocodile, as the owner of the aquaterrarium, was the first to notice the uninvited guest. Later the scorpion also realized that in a new habitat he was not alone. He tried to get close to the crocodile, but suddenly changed his mind. Further, the behavior of the scorpion defies any logic. First, the scorpion hid his head in the stones. However, this strangeness is not over. If the first can be explained by the desire to disappear from the sight of a potential enemy, then what makes the scorpion to hide into the water? And what about his swimming in circles? Maybe this is all the influence of a crocodile? What do you think? Write in the comments why a scorpion behaves so strangely. A little later, after all he returned to dry land. For some time the scorpion stared fixedly at the crocodile. The latter acted in a similar way. Silent opposition lasted long enough. The first surrendered scorpion. He again rushed into the water, whereas before he began to swim in circles. After enjoying plenty of water treatments, the scorpion climbed onto dry land. This time he tried to get close to the tail of a crocodile. The latter was alerted. He moved to the side. In general, it can be said that there were no conflict between predators during the shooting. They behaved peacefully. But such a neighborhood clearly surprised them. We removed the scorpion, leaving the rightful owner of the aquaterrarium alone. That's all for today. If you were interested, like and share the video with friends. Want more issues is about wildlife life? Subscribe to the channel and click the bell so as not to miss new videos. It was Mad Science Channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. And all together from Russia with love. And a few new words to translate. Ha! In English, ooh, what a chica. In Russian, ух, какая чика.